We often credit star power, a seasoned director or a daring producer for the massive success of a film. But all that is a generic template which may or may not work. Take the recent release of Fighter for instance. It boasted A-list actors, a respected director, critical acclaim and enthusiastic audience feedback. Despite all these ingredients, its box office performance left everyone scratching their heads. Now rewind to the 60s and the 70s, an era devoid of today's technological marvels like televisions and mobile phones. No trailers teased upcoming releases, no social media flurries hyped up films, yet the cinemas were packed and certain movies became legends in their own right. So what was the secret sauce? Was it the captivating storyline, the stellar performances from actors and directors, or simply because movies were the sole entertainment option available? Perhaps, but what stands out across eras is the concept of repeat value. How often did audiences flock back to the theaters? That's where the magic lies. Now one can argue that a movie can be a blockbuster because of a loyal fan base. But that also wasn't true even for India's biggest superstar, Shah Rukh Khan, who saw a string of box office disappointments before Pathan. While a loyal fan base can certainly drive a strong opening, the repeat value of a movie truly elevates its financial success. And this is precisely why a movie like Animal soared to blockbuster status. And in today's video, we will delve into the factors that contributed to the repeat value of Animal. Before we dive in, I want to clarify that this isn't a typical review video where we dissect technicalities or debate controversies surrounding the movie's themes. Animal is rated A, meaning it's intended for viewers over 18. So viewers should make informed decisions about watching it. As of today, Animal has amassed more than 900 crores Indian rupees, which is close to 110 million US dollars. And one of the key drivers behind its repeat value was the element of shock. Primed by teasers and trailers, audiences anticipated an action-packed spectacle, a typical crime drama featuring a father-son narrative. However, Animal defied expectations, revealing itself as an emotional drama with actions serving as merely a facet of the storytelling. This was precisely why many felt the second half was boring. They were expecting action and Vanga sir offered them something they didn't expect. So I didn't create a situation only where the conventional things will come. The film's screenplay further adds to the shock factor. Departing from the traditional linear storytelling, Animal adopts a non-linear approach, a technique often employed by acclaimed directors like Quentin Tarantino and Christopher Nolan. This narrative style challenges viewers' perceptions, leading to confusion and astonishment. Take for instance the scene where Vijay undergoes a dramatic transformation from a clean-cut character to a rugged, vengeful persona. This abrupt shift left many scratching their heads, pondering the events that transpired in between. Other scenes, such as Vijay's unexpected display of firepower in his sister's college, evoked audible gasps from the audience, highlighting the film's ability to shock and surprise. Even the end credit scene, typically reserved for teasers or glimpses of sequels, delivered a jolt with its unflinching portrayal of violence, leaving viewers momentarily forgetting about the prospect of a sequel. Indeed, Animal's depiction of action and violence pushes boundaries setting a new standard for Indian cinema. We'll come back to this later in the video when we talk about music. Beyond the shock factor, the emotional depth of Animal is truly captivating. Let's acknowledge that few A-list actors would dare to undertake the emotional journey that Ranbir Kapoor did. It wasn't just about shedding one's skin to adopt a new persona, it demanded an exceptional mastery of emotion. In the final scene, just before the end credits roll, when Vijay learns of his father's leukemia diagnosis and breaks down in Mishra uncle's arms, it's impossible not to empathize with him. Despite his transformation from a protective alpha male to an abusive animal, his love for his father remains unwavering, witnessing him lose everything. His father's health deteriorating, his marriage crumbling, his children drifting away. It's a gut-wrenching experience that resonates with the audience on a profound level. At its core, Animal is a gripping father-son drama carved in blood. The emotional bond between Vijay and his father strikes a chord with viewers, tapping into the universal theme of familial relationships. Among the many moving scenes, one that stands out is the hospital encounter between Vijay and his father. Against the serene melody of Papa Meri Jaan, their shared gaze speaks volumes, evoking a sense of shared astonishment and emotion rumbling through the audience. Another significant contributor to the repeat value of Animal was the character's remarkable openness and confidence. While the film glorifies certain negative aspects of the character, it also validates those individuals who wish to express their true selves without fear of societal judgment. In a scene where Vijay is candidly questioned by a doctor about his sexual life with his wife and he responds to have it openly discussed in front of his family, it's a powerful testament to his character's transparency. This moment defies societal taboos and validates those who may hesitate to discuss such topics openly. Furthermore, during the same scene, Vijay is informed about various medical issues he is facing, including loss of smell and taste, urinary function failure and a failing heart, yet he confidently asserts his belief in his ability to overcome these challenges, shattering stereotypes and instilling confidence in the audience to confront their struggles head-on. Next up is the sheer originality of the storytelling and how it was presented to the audience. Now, there are many ways Wanga could have presented this story. 
He could have opted for a more audience-friendly approach tailored to appease the masses, but Vanga chose to take the route no one dared to take in Indian cinema. The element of surprise was consistent throughout the movie, and the repeat audiences kept returning to feel that adrenaline rush. While many may categorize Animal as a mass film akin to KGF or Pathan, I would argue otherwise. Animal breaks free from the typical mass formula as I have previously discussed in one of my videos. You can check the link in the description. Its unconventional approach appeals not only to mass audiences but also to those craving content-oriented cinema. Despite its A rating which traditionally limits the audience pool, Animal drew viewers from all corners of India. This broad appeal speaks volumes about genuine originality and unconventional storytelling. All credit to Sandeep Reddy Wanga. Lastly, let's touch on the music infused with elements of action. Back in the 90s, a movie called Aashiqui set a benchmark for delivering timeless melodic songs that resonated deeply with audiences. With no YouTube and limited access to color televisions, people flocked to theaters to listen to these songs, showcasing the immense power of music in drawing crowds. Animal evoked a similar sentiment. It capitalized on this strategy in today's evolving music release trends, where makers often withhold video songs to entice audiences to theaters. Songs like Arjun Valle and Pehle Bhi Mein were unveiled as mere tracks, leaving audiences curious about their context. When viewers finally witnessed these songs intricately woven into the breathtaking action sequences, the experience was heightened, compelling more people to watch the film repeatedly. Who would have thought of embedding a full-blown action sequence within a song like Arjun Valle or orchestrating a shirtless fight scene to the beat of B. Prak's Sari Dunia Jala Denge? It was unprecedented and audiences went wild. Moreover, the songs are so aptly matched to the visuals that the lyrics seamlessly unfold before our eyes. Just watch the videos of Arjun Valle and Sari Dunia Jala Denge and you will understand what I mean. When I talk about music, I also include the background score, which is the best I have heard in a long time. The composition spawned numerous reels and renditions post-release. The popularity of tracks like Jamal Kudu continues to soar with reels flooding the internet. Each song in the movie is outstanding and coupled with the incredible background score, it kept audiences engaged directly contributing to repeat theater visits. So there you have it folks. I hope you enjoyed this exploration and feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below to keep the conversation alive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for more deep dives into the world of cinema. You can also follow us on Instagram and X. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to explore more content from our channel on the next screen. Until next time, have a nice day and take care.